Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. So I just, I sprayed another layer on both sides of this fender, the uh, test panel. You can see where the sulfuric acid damaged the paint really well now, now in the sun. You can also see where it ran off up here. This side did not have any coating on it before I shot that video yesterday. This side looks amazing. I was able to get it very flat and nice, very level, no orange peel. I mean, it really came out nice. I've been working with a couple of different guns. Yeah, the panel looks like shit because I didn't polish it prior. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I did polish this, this section. It's the one from the first video, I believe. Um, but I did not, uh, correct it per se. All I did was give it a, a polish to refine the top. And you can obviously see that um, there's no orange peel. I mean, it looks great. Other than the defects that are in the original paint. All right, so been messing around with a few things. So this is the uh, Harbor Freight uh, Central Pneumatic. I think this thing is like $16. Um, it works okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invest in a better gun. I've, I've heard mixed reviews on this thing. I hear, I hear from a lot of pro um, auto painters that this thing, it functions and you can get like really good results with it if you're good at it. <laughs> Problem is um, I, I'm a detailer. And yes, I have painted a few things here and there with this gun and other guns, but um, I, I, don't, I don't paint every day. So I want to get a gun that may give me better atomization. Um, I am getting pretty good, I would say, with this gun. But I just want to see what a better gun will do. And also, I think I'm going to step it up to a real paint gun instead of that mini paint gun. Um, I've got some larger equipment like tractors and that kind of things uh, I'm going to be spraying soon and bigger boats and that kind of thing and I want the bigger fan pattern and that kind of thing from the bigger gun so that's what I'm going to do um, as usual I use the Flexzilla um, this is a 25 footer I have a 50 footer as well uh, Flexzilla hose because they don't kink up and stuff I do have this uh, Husky filter that I use um, right out of the compressor here. Um, I have another filter in line and I use this digital, um, basically it's just a pressure gauge. Uh, it's not really a regulator because this basically just turns it on and off. Um, and then there is a regulator on the compressor. I am using the Porter Cable comp compressor, however, um, once I get rolling with the uh, this new coating situation, I'm going to step it up to carrying my uh, bigger compressor that I have in my garage. Um, it will give me the specs that I need to be able to do the bigger boats and that kind of thing. Um, as far as what's in the garage, I'll walk you through real quick. Sorry about the mess. Um, this thing, I literally never use this thing, but... Uh, this is a North Star from uh, Northern Tool. It is model PK5020 VP, VPN, two horsepower, 7.6 EFM, 135 PSI, 20 gallon tank. Um, I got this thing years ago. I don't really use it right now. Excuse me, let me jump right back out of the garage. Um, I'm not really using it right now, but I've got some other things um, I'm actually, I just hired a guy who's going to be working with me on this expansion that I'm doing. Um, we're going to be doing uh, spray and bed liners and uh, off-road trucks, you know, just uh, with a, uh, the bed liner material and that kind of thing. Uh, we're also getting into doing some fiberglass work and repairs. I mean, I deal with a lot of boats, so we're getting into that. Uh, but this coating specifically... Um, is going to be amazing. Now, I was dealing with the auto version. Actually, the the standard auto version is what you've, you've, you've seen me use in the videos 
Um, I actually have a higher build auto version that will give you a lot more material left behind. It's literally uh, two to three times as thick. Um, just wanna show you this panel again in the sun. I mean, it really, really turned out nice. It's self-leveled on its own, far better than uh, wiping it on. So that's what I like about the spray uh, situation. Uh, I don't have to worry about high spots because uh, if you learn how to properly lay it down with the spray gun, uh, you're not going to have that orange peel. You're not going to have the um, the streaks, if you will. You also won't get any of that uh, rainbowing that you get with some other coatings uh, as far as uh, just like a rainbow look being left behind. So anyway, I'm getting decent results with that. Um, just a couple things I got out here that I mess around with. Uh, acetone, I use that to clean the gun out every time I use the coating. And then um, I'm not sure if I loved this stuff yet. I had it, so I used it. Um, I was just checking to make sure that it wouldn't leave any. Uh, I didn't want any fish eyes or anything uh, like that. So I wiped it down with that uh, wax and tar remover. I've had that bottle for a long time. I, I don't know how good it is. Um, it seems to be fine because I didn't use it over there, but I did use it over here and I've got no, I mean, man, this panel looks like shit just because I didn't do any polishing to it. I didn't polish this section at all ever. Um, so that's why it looks like garbage. Um, but it does have a good couple layers of the coating on it. Um, out of spraying it and wiping it on, you can get very good results wiping it on with a microfiber applicator. I can lay it down far better with no orange peel, no streaks, no, um, no nothing to actually have to come back and deal with uh, with the sprayer. That's why I like the sprayer. Yes, it's a little bit more complicated. Yes, it requires different tools. But listen, guys, if you're trying to make real money in this detailing game, you've got to step it up. You've got to be different than the next guy. Or what's the point of having thousands and, and thousands of redundant detailers out there that do the exact same thing? Where's your value? You have to pick up new things. You have to try new things. You have to expand and diversify to make more money and to keep yourself happy, or at least I do. I always have to be doing something different and more. I always want more, 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 more. And this coating situation, notice I say coating because it's more like a clear coat than it is a coating, but it is a coating kind of thing. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I'm a huge fan of spraying it. I was trying uh, to just get away with applying it uh, with a microfiber applicator, but I just can't get behind it because I like to spray. It looks more professional. Your customer is wowed by it. And well, you get a better result. That's the bottom line. So once I get this nailed down and I'm gonna order a couple different spray guns, I'm gonna get a better, like a, a higher, a, a nicer uh, mini, uh, HPLV gun and I'm going to get a uh, regular one to be spraying this stuff. I'm super stoked. Um, but stick around for all the details and more videos on this stuff. But uh, that's just a little bit about what I've got going on right now. I've been testing, uh, spraying this stuff. I think I've got that gun dialed in where it works really well. And what I did was, and you can watch some videos on this, um, you leave the um, air open all the way open. This right here is the fluid flow. And how you deal with that is you open it all, you back it all the way out. Then you squeeze the trigger and then you screw it in until it stops screwing in. And that's wide open. With the fan pattern, you want it all the way open and then you want to close it about a quarter of a turn and that will spit out nice atomization uh the blend atomization is the blend of the coating and the air to shoot it on the surface um, i finally figured out how to minimize overspray and the dry air overspray that lands back on the panel um i, I i'm i'm really really close i mean it, it this these panels look really nice so i'm going to continue to do that and that's going to be my preferred way 
to um, apply it. And in the training that I'm doing on January, January 22nd and 23rd, 2022. So in three months, we're doing a training for these coatings and general detailing how to make more money doing it. I've got a full curriculum for you guys for two days. If you're interested in that training, all you've got to do is buy a three car kit for the coating that you're already there to learn. And that's all that needs to happen. Uh, I'm not charging for this. I just want you to invest in what you're there to deal with anyway. That's all. So um, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. You'll learn a whole lot about these coatings. There are other people that are using these coatings. Um, I have limited it to just a few people. 10 people have this stuff and are messing with it currently. And they're all in the group and we are really trying to dial in the effectiveness of this and the many, many uh, versatile uses that it has in the industry and outside our industry. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of that. And once we get everything dialed in as far as helping you guys learn how to use it, and I have more people out there who know what's going on and in the group that know what's going on, we're gonna start moving into how do we make money with this stuff? That's where we're at. So thank you guys so much for watching and check out my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. 813-846-4406 is my cell, by the way. What other product line manufacturer gives you his uh, personal cell phone number? I'll answer it for you. Nobody. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.